Hello, my angels. How are you guys doing? Well, today I got three Tom Ford lip lockers that came in. Uh, one of them is a color I already have, but I loved it so much I wanted it again because I've been going through it. It's the Infiltrate. But then I also have Habitual and Bourgeois, as you can tell from the title. So let's go from lightest to darkest and let's get the paper towel. Get a little closer. Okay. So right off the bat, the lightest one is Infiltrate, which is literally my new favorite color. I love it so much. I have this in my pocketbook at all times. And I was so scared. I actually bought another one. I bought two extra ones. I was so scared <laughs> that this was going to run out that I bought two more, and, you know, because sometimes colors get discontinued or they sell out. And I'm like, I really love this color. This color goes with everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. There's not been one outfit that I put this on and it didn't look good. It goes with everything. And I'm not one to wear a lot of makeup. So I just, for me, it's like a big, bold color. If I'm going out with like a lot of people, I'll put on mascara and a little bit of blush, but that's it. You don't really see me wearing a lot of makeup. So this, this color... Infiltrate It's my favorite one. Oh god, I love it. I love it. Okay. Now we're gonna do the red, which I believe is habitual. And I also have two of these. So I bought this Tom Ford lot from, these are all from Mercari. No, this one's from eBay. It was a set of three for $40. It was 50 and I put a bid for 40 and then it ended up being like 45 or 43 with tax for three Tom Ford lipsticks, which is like $13 each. And they're normally 56. So I saved $43 each. I saved over $129. Mm -mm. I know. I know that there's infiltrate. Don't worry about that. It smells like a MAC lipstick. I'm happy I like it because I have two of them now. Do I love it? No. I'm pickiest with reds, but because I have another one, I can gift it to like my sister or my mom because we are red obsessed in my family. Like everything is like, just put on a red lipstick. It makes everything better. <laughs> yeah, that's how we, we roll. So I like it for me. Do I love it? No. No. I like the Dior 999. There's a lot of other reds. I mean, if you watch my channel, if you go back to all my other videos, you can just write like lip when you're searching through my videos. Mm. What did I just swallow? I just inhaled. Oh, I hope it's not plastic. I, I inhaled and then something went down my throat. I don't know what, I don't know what it is and I'm kind of nervous right now, <laughs> but, but, um, oh, the thing with the Tom Ford lip lockers that I like a lot is that it, it feels like a satin. It's just very soft and pillowy and almost like, like if there was a slip and slide and you put olive oil on it instead of water and then you just slid. No, it's not that oily, but it's, it's, it's a nice. It just feels really nice on the lips when you do that. It feels good every time you do that. Um, they do stay on for a while. Um, they're not transfer proof at all. It's just a really nice formulation. It's a nice red, right? It's cute. Mm, I don't know if I should put anything on my cheeks right now. Oh, it's too much. Oh, it's too much. Way too much. Oh, way too much. But I did it. Is that the powder I can put on very quickly? No. We're just going to live with it. So, that's the habitual. I mean, it is nice. Maybe I should just keep both of them. I don't know. I have so many reds, it's not even... It's nice. It's not bad. It's a nice red. And it makes my teeth look okay. I don't like reds that make your teeth look yellow. 
I just had a poke bowl. So I did eat um, a lot. It was so good. It's called Poke Works, P O K E W O R K S. And I got the Hawaiian tuna one, the Hawaiian ahi tuna. Oh my god, that sounds delicious. My brain is still happy doing its happy dance because it was so good. And then this is the third color, which I'm really excited about because it's new to me. It's as clear as it's going to get. I don't know what I swallowed. I'm so nervous right now. It's this color. It's in the title. Bouja. Ah. I'm really into burgundies, but not this. I thought I would love it because it's a burgundy. And if you've been following me on my channel, I've been really going through the burgundies. It's not bad. It's just a more... It's a darker burgundy than I would I would I would like. It's more of like um Well, I do this because I like to cover up the skin spot. It's more of like um a dark purpley brown burgundy. Where you've seen other burgundies. I mean, it's not bad. I don't love it. I love the formulation. That's why I I like the Tom Ford lips products, but It's really, this is the darkest burgundy I think I have. And that's what it is. It's the darkest one that I have. All the other ones are more like red based. It's not bad. I don't love it. I don't dislike it a lot. It's not the one that I'm going to reach for. But if I have to go and grab something quick, I, I grab this. I just love the formulation, you guys. If you've never tried a Tom Ford lacquer lip color, the matte ones that they have, because I, I, I got an influencer, I got Lark from Tom Ford to try. Those are very similar to the Hermes mattes, um, where they feel like a matte, but they, they feel like a satin on your lips. Like, you know, that finish is just really interesting. But it's a really good matte. It's like a nice flat matte. These aren't really mattes. These are still a little glossy. Do you think this is a matte? I don't think this is a matte. Is it a matte? Does it say matte? It says lip lacquer luxe. Yeah, it's a matte. What are these other ones? Matte? I don't think it's a matte. And then this one? Vinyl. So Infiltrate, which is probably why I like it, is a very glossy vinyl. The red was supposed to be a matte, and then this is a matte. It's growing on me. I think it's just a really good winter color, like when you're wearing the fall colors and stuff like that. Winter, I think more red, but for fall, you know, like with an outfit like this, I think this color works well. And then I'll try on the Lark real quick. I already did a video on it, I think. I don't know if I did or not. But I did it for, for Influencer. And it's a nude which is not normally what I choose. And it's a different bottle. It's this one. And this is Lark. Tom Ford. What does it say on the bottom? Liquid Lip Luxe Matte Lark. So these are lacquers and this is a liquid lip. And it's just a nude. And I don't normally do nudes. But I've been watching Ugly Betty a lot. And at when... Vanessa Williams always had like a, a cat eye and then like this color nude. Well, actually it was lighter nude. But then she would, sometimes she would put gloss on it or she wouldn't. And then her face was like, matte. it was beautiful. You should watch just like um, one or two episodes of Ugly Betty. You'll see Vanessa Williams and it was phenomenal. Uh, her makeup. So I was really into that. And then when I got it for free from Influencer, I was like, oh, awesome. But you see, this isn't really my color profile. 
I'm not a nude girl. Maybe if I wear pastels, I would wear this color. Or if I had a dramatic eye, or if I had a nice cat eye and a little bit of color, then maybe I would wear this to, you know, to kind of bring the whole thing together. But I would have to be wearing white or a pastel or something of that nature. This is drier. It has a, it's not sticky at all after it dries. You see that? When it's drying, it's like that. But after it dries, it's gone. And it feels just like any other matte. I actually think the Hermes mattes are a little bit different. They're more, they feel better on the lips, I think. But the other lipsticks that I tried on were really great. The lacquer mattes, the lacquer mattes aren't as matte as this. But they're, they feel better on your lips. So those are four colors for you guys to check out with the Tom Ford uh, line. I happen to like my favorite one, I think is the Infiltrate, of course. And then I kind of like, I think it's a tie between the red and the burgundy. What one? Uh, I, I'm not a nude lip person, so I don't think this looks good at all. I think it looks sickly. Uh, but I, you know, there are moments that I sometimes want to reach for a nude because it, a color, a bold color is going to offset the rest. Of, this is not coming off. This is how much came off. So I guess if you let it dry, maybe that one, the liquid lip, would be transfer proof because as you can see, it's still on. <laughs> and I tried to just, I'm trying to rub it off and that's all that's coming off. So it looks like their liquid lips have a lot of staying power um, once it dries on the lip. So that's something to keep in mind. Whereas with the lacquers, they will come off, but they do stain the lip. As you saw, as every time I took it off, there was like still a stain on there kind of thing. So that's what I have for you guys. Until next time, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. If you like my style, come back for a while. If you're my complexion and you're always looking for like someone that looks like you to review makeup, then look on my page because then if we're the same, then you'll know exactly what you're going to look like when you put it on. Um, but if also you just want an honest opinion on like formulation, you can see the colors, you're one of those people that can actually see what it would look like on fair skin and dark skin, then by all means go ahead and subscribe, like the video please. I'm trying to grow the channel. When we get to a million subscribers, I'm giving away a Chanel bag. When we get to two million subscribers, I'm giving away a Mercedes S550. Right now we are just pumping, 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 trying to get to, you know, 1500. <laughs> hey, baby steps, right? <laughs> Love you guys. Until next time. Bye.